Matilda is a very good word. <laughs> Matilda. I can now read words. Yes, so can you read words? Well, I needed to learn to read words so that I could read sentences. Because basically, a sentence is a big bunch of words. And if, you've got, if you can't read sentences, you've got no chance with books. And have you read a whole book by yourself? More than once. I love books. Last week I read quite a few. A few? What books did you read? Nicholas Nickleby, Oliver Twist, Jane Eyre, The Lord of the Rings, Crime and Punishment, and, and, The Cat in the Hat. <laughs> Because we're knackered. I told the miners to hide because we're manufacturing mistakes. 
So you lied? Of course I lied. And they didn't believe you? Of course they didn't believe me. I've got green hair. And I've got hair. And what's this? I have a flaming book. What's wrong with the telly? No, no, it's a lovely book. Honestly, you should read it. I'm sure you... Here's why I can be called lovely. No, it's a lovely book. You show the little brat. Oh, I'm going to buy a glass of it. We don't know.
your name? Matilda. Matilda Wormwood. Well, Wormwood, you've just made a very big mistake. Just so you all know, she's my best friend. <laughs> Instead, she's found me, 
to another town. Suddenly, out came the escapologist. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <coughs> the burning woman hurling through the air with dynamite in her hair over sharks and spiky objects caught by the man locked in the cage. <laughs> Cancelled, because my wife is pregnant. Oh, so it is a happy ending. No. <laughs> I have paid for the posters, publicity, the catering, the toilet facilities. Where is my profit? A contract is a contract. You will perform on this day, or off the prison you both shall go. <laughs>
is straight I think I got a bit carried away. <coughs> That's all right, Jenny. We all get carried away sometimes, even me. Well done, Bob Trotter. Good show. Well, come, come along then. What? Where? Oh, did I not mention? That was the first part of your punishment. There's more. The second part. And the second part is Cherokee. What? <gasps> no, but mistress, please, you can't.
can't show back. I couldn't very well drive each one backwards, could I? Backwards. <laughs> and suddenly, I had the most genius idea in the world. I attached a drill using my incredible mind. I attached a drill to spin on top of the first car, turned it on, and whacked it into reverse. Backwards. Exactly. <laughs> Within a few minutes, I had reduced the mileage to practically nothing. Backwards. Ten minutes later, the Russian showed up. Expensive suits, dark glasses. Russians are nocturnal. I saw the program last night. That was a program about badges. Same thing. And did it work? <laughs> Fantastic! Now I'll be able to afford double all day long. But they trusted you, and you cheated them. What have we done to deserve a child like you? You know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to go to that school and tell your teachers you'll never see anything again. Well, no! And if she does, I'll have to try it. And then we will sleep in the books and live the land. And it does. Now go to your really nasty little creep! Backwards. Out in the sweat 
and his head will get you sweaty. And it won't be long before I smell the pawn of aiding and abetting. A bit of his head will tell us who has a head full of a man's foot. Hold, hold! Just like a rotten egg floats to the top of a bucket of
it is quiet and I am warm like I've
is going to have a very special spelling test. Any child who gets one single answer wrong shall go to Chucky. What are you looking at? You. Right, here, let me see. Spell Newt. Newt. N E W T. Newt. What? Miss Honey's taught us. She's very good at teaching. Nonsense. You. Stand up and spell the one thing you all are. Revolting. Revolting. R E V O L T I N G. Revolting. You're cheating! I've taught them, that's all. With kindness and patience and respect. How dare you bring those words into my classroom, madam? You know nothing of teaching, and I shall prove it! You! Spell. Oh, let me see. Angela Kamaniel set to a collis to Moses. That's not a word, you just made it up! Bell or go to Chokey. Now I must warn you, it has silent letters. <laughs> A M E C H L E S. Oh, okay. Oh, deary, deary, dear. It was a silent Z. <laughs> You're going to Chokey!
very, very stupid. You seem smart. Sadly, in my line of work, I don't often get to meet smart people like you. The people I deal with, their thinking is all backwards. Backwards! <laughs> My friends teach your father a lesson, and one day, when he's out of hospital, he will still be stupid, not so rude. What do you say? This is a very tempting offer, but I think I've had enough of revenge. Your father is very lucky to have you as his daughter. Quick, let's get out of here before the tears are right. Wait, I never shall stay here with me. Beg your pardon? Uh, Mr. Wormwood, I would love to take Matilda. I would look after her with love and respect. And I pay for everything. You mean let our daughter stay here with you? Dad, you just call me your daughter. Do you want to stay here with Miss Honey? Yes, I do. And you want to look after her? I do. Well, we are a bit short on the room, so... Yes. Thank you! And Matilda leapt into Miss Honey's arms and hugged her. And Miss Honey hugged her back. Mr. Wormwoods. And did it all fall? <laughs>